Hi everyone, Articulate JP here, back with another figure review. I have another San Diego Comic Con exclusive stuff, um, and for today I have here the 112 Collection Mezco Armored Batman from Batman vs Superman. Um, and very quickly, let me show you the box here. 112 logo, the side. Bottom and finally the back, which shows you armored Batman and the different poses, um, accessories. Um, and I want to mention very quickly that this is a plastic sleeve, so if you take that out, it's just a plain old box. Um, all right, uh, without further ado, let's open them up. All right, guys. Um very quickly, I just, um, when I was looking at it, when I take off the sleeve here, put that aside, and it does open up, and it shows you the figure right there, and all the accessories. So, um, let me see here, if I could adjust the light a little bit. So, yep, there's like a window cut here for you to see Batman. There it is. All right, um, let's go ahead and open this up. All right, so here is the armored Batman from Mezco out of the box. Um, as you can see, he comes with a lot of accessories here. Um, the first thing I want to talk about right now would be the stand. Um, the stand is awesome. You can see it's painted black there with the Batman vs Superman logo. Um, I'm going to talk about this particular piece right here. This is a peg piece. Um, so for that, like if, if you want Batman, he could, there's a hole in his uh, boots there, right there. Oh, and um, you could see the boots, the bottom of the boots are detailed with like a bunch of spikes. Very nice. Um, so it pegs right there. So you could just, you could just kind of like stand like that. If you choose to do that, or let's put him back there, um, you could take out this piece. And to take out this piece, you have to go through the bottom right there and have yourself a screwdriver if you have this figure. Um, you're going to need it later on. Uh, so you kind of just have to push it right there. And it comes off. It's a little piece, clear piece right there. Uh, be careful not to lose it. So set that aside and right here is the actual stand. Um, so as you could guess this goes right in there and it's a pretty long stand and this piece right here I put it in already but it also comes with this piece and I'm going to show you right now what it's for. Um, so this piece goes over here the neck of that stand um, so you could have these bendable wires here these accessories comes with two um, sizes uh, two different lengths um, there's a shorter one two shorter ones and uh, obviously a longer piece um, for this review I'm going to choose the shorter ones just for convenience sake um, it's a bit convenient to work with a, with a shorter piece here. Um, it pegs right here, right? And it bends for you there. And I'm going to show you. That is for his cape. So you're going to put Batman here in the stand. Let me um, set this properly. So you stand him right there. And what you could do is... You could put this cape around here. You could clip it. This actually clips to his cape. So kind of like just push it down a little bit. And it's going to hold. Let me take it out first. So you clip it. And you peg it on one of those holes. And right there you could very quickly. I know it's not the most awesome pose. But you could 
play around with his cape now. And his cape becomes really poseable. Just like so. Um, and the next thing that I want to talk about is, uh, let's look at his spear. Uh, the spear um, is advertised, they said it's not die cast, but an actual real metal. Uh, so this pointy part is really, really sharp, so be careful. Um, it's nicely painted and detailed. Um, the effect part here for the kryptonite, it's translucent green, very nice. Uh, the, the tip is bendable plastic. I believe this is not um, metal here, this part. Um, as you go down here, it's it's really stiff and, and hard. So, um, yeah, you don't want to bend that part. It might break. Um, so that's that. And um, it comes with a pair of hands that could hold it. These two hands here that could grip the spear just so there we go we'll set this aside um, and he comes with an open palm pair of hands and let's talk about first the grappling hook so this is the grappling hook it's either there's a hole there. Um, that is for the hooks. So you could peg it right in there, just like that. And the hook itself, it's just a rubbery plastic material. It bends, super bendable. So you could pose it as just like that, or it comes with the one with a string, and this one just dangle there for a second this one comes with a like a really small peg piece if you could tell it's really tiny and so it's gonna have like a little bit trickier to put it in there just like so and now you have his grappling hook just like that okay let's set that aside and let's talk about his gun um, his gun, his grenade launcher, it comes with a two sets of kryptonite grenades. Um, let me just pick up one piece here. Let me show you if my camera would focus on that. Um, it's nicely painted and detailed. As you can see, the, the tip there is metallic gray and the rest is like black. Um, it's a small piece as well. So you get two of them. Um, you could the gun. It could you could he could reload it so they could open it like this, and you could put in the grenade right there, right inside there if you want. Um, also, this one could also go right here inside that barrel, just like that. Um, this does extend this piece right here also this the strap right here also has a working buckle so you could press on that and it'll come off and just put it back just insert it like that so that's pretty cool it could hang into Batman there and it's black but there's also like a bit gray um, the, de the detailing is, is it's cool if you guys could tell Let's see there it's a little bit of gray paint there too metallic gray paint all right so set that aside oh and it comes with these hands this one in particular to reload the gun and this is only for his left hand right there just to reload it um, and this one is for gripping it here and has his trigger finger right there um, so let's look at Batman himself um, first thing I want to talk about this Batman let's just take off this 
thing. Uh, so he comes with a cloth cape right there. Um, a very thick cloth actually. Uh, also his under his armor it's also cloth. Right there in his pants too. Um, these pieces, the blade on his arm form, it's it's really sharp, so be careful as well. And right here, also in his leg, um, the belt, it's it's loose, so, but you can't take it out. A uh, rubbery plastic for me. Also, this shoulder guards here, uh, rubbery plastic. This one, this piece, I think this is the metal piece as well. This is really strong and hard. Um, very nicely detailed, nicely painted too. You guys could see the detail in his armor. Um, this piece too. This one is rubbery plastic. Uh, to switch his hands, you see right here. It's a peg as well. So take that out. Um, let's choose a hand here, right here. It's good. So. Just like that, and he could hold his spear there. Um, for the head, um, you could take out the head right here. It does have the light up feature. The light up feature is only for his eyes. Um, the switch is right here in the bottom. Switch it on, and it's pretty bright actually, just like the movie. Uh, let's turn it off, the switch is there. Also, um, the only instruction that comes with this uh, figure is how to insert the battery. It, right here, it tells you it's a LR626 battery, a really tiny battery right there. Um, my brother's sitting here my mom right now. Um, sorry about that. Um, they also give you a plastic bag, a Ziploc here, and with an extra screwdriver just in case for the head and the way you put the battery is that you just screw the bottom here take it out and you put the battery pieces in there top first and you put it back it was it was giving me a little bit of a hard time so I'm not gonna do that now for just for the sake of like you know more time for the video I'm trying to keep it short and precise so um, that's about it um, you just peg it back there uh, if you want to switch it on, unfortunately, the switch is at the bottom of his head, so you gotta have to like take out the head and just switch it and back and forth if you want to do that. Um, articulation is pretty good. Um, standard articulation, um, 40 points of articulation, I believe. It's what's advertised. Um, his wrist, swivel, arms. Uh, up and down, you know, from side to side. His feet here, not so much, but enough, I guess. It's good enough. Um, the only thing is that he cannot look up at all because of the armor piece right here. It just he cannot do that, but he can look down. And also, he cannot like twist his torso as well as you think because of the cloth piece here. So, um, yeah, that's about it for this armor Batman. Thank you very much for taking the time and watching my video. Um, I'm gonna take photos of these guys and my most of my collection and my action figures on my Instagram account, uh, Articulate JP. Um, once again, thank you for liking and subscribing. Uh, and I appreciate you guys taking the time and watching my videos. Uh, Alright, that's about it. Uh, Articulate JP out. Thanks, guys.